Okay guys, today we're going to take a little bit of a break from putting in our water tanks and we're going to go on an adventure to find some sharks. Do you want to go find some sharks? I know this doesn't have anything to do with sailing, but the black tip migration is known to be the largest coastal migration of any animal. What are black tips? Sharks. Oh. So, we figured you guys want to check it out. Okay, go on. Want to give us any shark facts? Um, you're the shark expert. Where are the black tips coming from and where are they going? The black tips and spinners too, right? And I think they're up in like the Carolinas in the summer and then they migrate down to Florida for the cold winter season and then head back up to the Carolinas in the summer. According to FAU, he's been tracking them. Okay, up you go. Hey, Mr. Growth. Billy, what do you say? So this is my dad. You guys have met him before. He came and visited us in the Bahamas and you've seen him a couple times. But anyways, so he grew up here. So did we, but he's a little older. So he's been uh -huh. seeing these sharks come back and forth every, every year at the same time but before drone footage. So if it was before drone footage, how would you know it was migrating season? Only because the news would fly over with the helicopter once in a while. So no drones, and, just helicopters? And watching them from the beach, jumping and spinning. Did you ever know how many were there before you Did, saw the videos? Knew there was a lot, but never how many. <laughs> so now we're gonna try to find out just how many there really are. Right here. Yeah, Billy, you do the pointing. They're like right in front to the right.
Whoa, he's so big! Thank you for watching as usual i hope you enjoyed that shark footage it was fun to film so i hope it was fun to watch we have a little announcement to make and we are so excited about this we told you that we were going to do something with adrenaline's old sales because we got new sales over this summer and we've been working really hard to try to make cool things for you guys so now we're able to show you what they are. So we found this company called Hoist Away Sail Bags. Hoist Away Bags. Hoist Away Bags up in Maine. And she turned Adrenaline's old, so far, just the main sail, into some cool stuff. So we have three things. We have a small duffel bag. A travel kit, which is like you could put like toiletry items or like accessories, like camera accessories, chargers, yada yada. And a crossbody bag. For you ladies fits a phone, wallet, and uh, even our cutlery set. And each of these things has the story of Adrenaline Sales uh, stitched on the inside, which is super cool. A little Tula logo right there. They came out so nice. We're really excited about them. There's only a limited amount of them. There's only 20 duffel bags. There's only 40. 40 of these guys and 50, 50 of these. And there will be more to come with the, the next sale. We don't know exactly what or what colors, but for right now, this batch, those are the numbers we have, and I think they're gonna go quick. So if you want them, check out the Tula Shop. The link will be right in the description. And the, the body of the bag is completely made out of adrenaline sales. So the inside, the outside, the colors are added from old retired spinnakers that we didn't own, but that people donated or they found at like consignment shops or whatever. They're not perfect. Laura from Hoistway Sales, she does it, so if there are any stains, she tries to put them on the inside, but you'll have a little mark here and there, and hopefully that reminds you of us, because... I'm, I'm pretty impressed with how clean they do look yeah, they for were being professionally washed. sales. And thank you to Laura, because she's been back and forth with us with color, because we're terrible with colors and all that kind of stuff, so she said, this looks good, this looks good, let's try this, let's take that away. You can order them now, but they won't be shipped until starting the 18th of March. And I hope you like them. And then one more quick announcement. If you guys follow us on Facebook and Instagram, you already know that, that right when we were filming all this shark stuff, we left the boat and someone decided to snag our engine. From so our, for our dinghy. We are missing our 20 horsepower Suzuki four stroke. So if you want to help us keep an eye peeled or share, we have a Facebook post going and so far like 400 people have shared it. So, so thank you. So we've been trying to like look at uh, eBay and Craigslist and all that stuff, but we can only look so much. So if you happen to see anything about a 20 horsepower Suzuki for sale, just let us know. And there's more, uh, there's more information, a better description of the engine on that Facebook post. We'll link it right in the description. So thank you guys so much for sharing that and checking it out and keeping our eyes peeled and hopefully we get it back. I'm not sure if we will. But. And we don't like on Facebook we had people offer to like donate money. We don't want you guys to do that. Just keep an eye out. We figured out. Yeah if anything I mean it's it's a learning lesson for us. It was locked but I don't know. If a thief wants something probably gonna take it. An engine is replaceable. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Awesome, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Check out some of those links in the description. Check out, <laughs> check out some of the links in the description. Leave a comment. Make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you next time.